Well, happy Friday. Happy Friday. And today, as you all know, is the day that the TCG was officially supposed to be released today. The Digimon TCG, that is. However, as we all know, Bandai decided to postpone it due to printing issues and COVID and all those depressing topics that nobody likes to talk about. Well, what if we told you that we do have some cards in circulation after all? That's right, Target. Target, out of all the stores, now has Digimon product in stock, it would seem. Isn't that kind of amazing? You know, this was always kind of anticipated. People saw this coming, like the Targets, next will be the Walmarts. You know, other stores will be getting the product. And that's really, really cool. What's nice about this is that people have been really hiking up prices, upselling, selling items at ridiculous prices, just because the quantity is not available. It was so short printed and pre-release. And now people can't do that anymore, right? Is that so? I hate to break the news to you, um, but people were talking about it in the Digimon TCG group and people seem really excited that Target has cards as it'll bring down the value. I kind of had to drop a bomb in there and say, I mean, yeah, until scalpers come in and basically buy out the whole supply and then it starts all over again. I don't think you need a degree in rocket science or astrophysics to tell you what probably transpired next. Well, there we go. Take a look at that Facebook post on the Digimon card game market. Ignore price. Sealed. Gaia Red. Sold. $45. Cockit is Blue. Times one. $42. Heaven's Yellow. Times two. $42. Tracking included. Like, that's supposed to be a really incentive to purchase these in the first place. Yeah, it already happened. Not even 12 hours in, and someone already went to Target and bought out the supply, I suppose, and listed it online. Now, if you guys are familiar with other card game markets, the big one being Pokemon, you'll know that people have been going to all the Walmarts, all the Targets, all the GameStops, and buying literally every hot Pokemon item that they can find, leaving the store shelves empty. Well, I think until Digimon has an official mass release, if Digimon has an official mass release at this point, we're going to be seeing stuff like this all the time. Now, as you can imagine, the internet doesn't take too lightly to Scalper. Uh, while some people are, you know, they're okay with the concept and kind of get behind the fact that maybe they're just taking advantage of an opportunity, seeing what sticks, trying to feed themselves, have a little bit of vacation money, maybe buy themselves something shiny, get a new puppy. You know, there are other people that are really, really taking it that not well. There are people that just get offended by the whole idea of it. People literally burning this guy a new butthole on this Facebook thread. Why? Because what kind of scummy person would just go and buy all the starter decks and go list it online immediately after they become available for public? Like this person is literally the first person. And because of that, he's getting the full force, the full butt plugging of the Digimon TCG community. I really like the whole argument that's going on here in this thread because it's just basically a whole bunch of people saying you're a shit person. And then there's a whole bunch of people that are like, this is just business. This is supply and demand. This person is okay. What's wrong with him? It's seeing two forces clash. It's like that whole Dark Knight thing about an unstoppable object going with an immovable force or something. I don't know the line. This guy is getting attacked and defended, and he's here to stick into his guns. He thinks he's done nothing wrong. And I guess depending on what side of the equation you're on, he hasn't done anything wrong. Some people think he is the wrongest person on the earth right now. Here are some comments that kind of show that. Just wishing you and all the other supply and demand capitalist simps a warm F you heart. <laughs> That's a good one. LOL, this dumbass went to Target, brought the deck now, trying to resell hate to be the bear of bad news. The bear of bad news. Big box stores have stock now the days of you scumbags trying to pull this shit is done. You're going to lose just like those suckers at Wall Street. <laughs> oh man, uh, literally I could just read stuff like this all day and make my life. You guys want to pick me up a couple and not scout me or question mark? Well, someone being polite, you know, someone asking a genuine question. And that's cool. 
45 bucks for a starter deck? You must be on that good good, lol. Uh, does someone want to tell me what a good good is? I don't get it. What's a good good? Do you know what a good good is? I, I, we don't know what a good good is. Anywho, while it appeared that he did sell the red ones at some point because Gaia Force, probably, he failed to sell the other ones, trying to bump it up, and I think eventually he just abandoned the thread because he saw there was no winning. So many people against this guy, this, this poor soul, just trying to make a quick buck. Now on this channel, a while ago, I made a video about scalping. I outlined the, the, the benefits, why someone would do it, and I outline, you know, what the opinions of. So I'm not going to get into that again. But it's just very, very funny to me that on the same day that Target gets the stock in, we literally have scalping the exact same day. The exact same day. Now, I do think this kind of activity is actually going to rain for a little bit. Target isn't going to be enough to supply the market. The demand is still going to be too overwhelming. We need an official release before this kind of stuff goes away. Also, just a, a random heads up, I don't think it's going to go away forever. You know, keep in mind that because of printing issues, this won't be released as much as it should be. And I think that the demand will always outweigh the supply on this particular set in these starter decks. But it is going to get a little bit better, but then it's probably going to get way worse. Mark my words, probably in 12 months from now, you can sell booster boxes of set 1.0 for like three, 400, 500 bucks. We'll come back to this in a year and see if that actually happened or not. I'm not really pro or against scalping as a general thing. I'm kind of on the sidelines. I really don't give two poops if a person scalps or not. I know that there are people that buy cards from me just to sell for more. I, I know it. I know it exists. I don't do anything about it because it doesn't bother me. As long as I make my sales, as long as I can put you know food on my table and some money in my savings account, I'm cool. But what do you guys think? This video just isn't about me. This is a video letting you know that cards are available on Target. It's really cool, but it's not enough to keep supply and demand from you know shifting to more of the supply and less of the demand. What do you guys think is going to happen? Leave it in the comments because I kind of want to hear what you're going to say. There is nothing better than intelligent discussion relating to concepts about the card arts, such as this. It's truly, truly an amazing experience. And I also kind of wonder how many people came from the Digimon card game from, like, the Pokemon spike we've seen the last 10 months. I wonder who's ahead of the curve. It makes me really, really wonder who, who has experience and who knows what they're getting into. Oh, and uh, one final thing. Like the video and then leave a comment and then subscribe to my channel if you haven't. And then uh, smash the notification bell on the potatoes so you know when more Digimon videos or other awesome videos on this channel are uploaded. Never forget that this channel started as more of a business endeavor, how to make your own money, investing, card business stuff. Completely lost my train of thought. Oh, like in one set. Point is that this is the kind of content that this channel points to in the first place. Yeah, we talk about deck profiles and talk about game replays and all that. But then we also have to talk about things like this. Things that directly impact people's wallets in one form or the other. Very important to keep the world going around with this kind of topic. That's all I got, guys. We'll see you next time. Take care.